And welcome back. So we did have partly cloudy skies. We made our way through the day today. Temperatures did get warm into the lower 70s. Let's take a look at that tower cam time lapse. This is our regional west weather camera in Scotts Bluff as we did have a good amount of sunshine in the morning and then more clouds later on into the day. We did stay mainly dry out there. Uh, we did have some showers, but it looks like uh, they uh, really just missed the Scotts Bluff area just off to the north and west. High temperatures today near 70 at Scotts Bluff, Shadron, a lot Alliance and at Torrington with mid 60s at Kimball and Sydney and upper uh, 60s up toward the Gordon area. Current temperatures look like this at 49 at Scotts Bluff, Bridgeport, Oshkosh, 51 at Harrisburg, 48 at Gordon and Sydney, and a 47 right now at Kimball with the winds still mainly from a southeasterly direction. Uh, wind speeds right now around 10 to 20 miles per hour, some gusts closer to 25 to 30. As for the moisture, in the last few frames of this movie, you can see the rain showers dissipating. There's some just off to the west of Shadron, but as you make your way into our southern counties, mostly clear skies, partly cloudy skies in the central portion of our viewing area, including the Scotts Bluff area. So we do have this system that is making its way through. The low once again off to our north. Uh, cold, a uh, warm front made its way through today. High pressure to our south gave us that warm surge of air. Another cold front will make its way through, followed by another low developing along it. Uh, that will be tomorrow's weather. Across the country, high pressure to our south and east, giving uh, that area mainly clear skies, but more rain off the Florida coast and cool air up and down the east coast that we had to round out last week. We have one weather alert. Now, we have a system that's going to make its way through with some rain showers, but in the higher elevations, especially uh, between Cheyenne and Laramie, could produce uh, a good amount of snow. So winter storm warnings from Tuesday morning to Wednesday morning in that area it should be rain for everybody else. So let's take a look at the skycast going through the overnight, uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Now, Here's that system already developing with some snow showers in the higher elevation, some rain uh, off uh, to the south and to the east. Most of the moisture is going to fall into southeastern Wyoming, but if you're on the border of Colorado, uh, you could get some rain showers as we go through the day tomorrow. Some of the rain showers could get uh, into the Scotts Bluff, Torrington, Bridgeport area, but still mainly dry off to the north. High temperatures tomorrow only into the mid, maybe some upper 40s. Then that system moves off to the south. Uh, we're going to keep a good amount of cloud cover during the overnight lows in the upper 30s. For the day on Wednesday, clearing out a good amount of sunshine, more of a southerly wind with highs near 60. Let's take a look at the weather in motion. So we had this one low that's going to move into the northern plains, some rain and snow for them. But this low back here is going to develop and move along the Wyoming, Colorado, and then down toward the Kansas border with some rain out in that direction. Most of the rain is going to be off to our south followed by slightly cooler air and then we will start to warm up again as high pressure works its way in more of a southerly flow as we go through later on into the week as for that loam it will actually ride the jet stream just off to our south give significant rainfall down toward Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and then into the south, and then eventually into the mid-Atlantic. Now, we're going to be in the borderline between the cool and warm air. This boundary is going to move back and forth, but we're mainly going to be on the cool side, so slightly below average temperatures. No real extremes from this one, but a couple of days could be a little warmer as we stay mainly dry. There's another system we're tracking as we go through later on into the week that could give us some moisture. Here's a look at the extended forecast. Now, a cool day tomorrow with the rain chance, especially from Scotts Bluff and points off to the south, right up to 64 on Wednesday, partly cloudy. 70 on Thursday, partly cloudy skies for the daylight hours, but rain, thunderstorms also likely later on in the day, ending by Friday morning. Friday's high uh, falls to 50 from a high of 70 on Thursday. Then for the weekend ahead, mid to upper 60s on Saturday and Sunday, mostly sunny to sunny skies, and sunny for Monday, warmer, a high of 71. Angel. Thanks, Justin.